Hey everybody, um, well, I'm going to do something a little different now. I'm going to start a series of videos. Um, what I'm going to end up calling, what I'm going to call them is um, security for, for dummies, you know, like the books, you know, whatever for dummies. Well, I'm going to call this uh, Windows Security for Dummies. I don't know how many videos I'm going to make. It's, I'm going to make as many as it takes. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a step-by-step tutorial on how to secure your computer uh, specifically Windows 7 which is right now the most prevalent um, and on so let's start out here this is what I would consider a fresh computer uh, it's a fresh install just Windows nothing else um, other than of course my virtual machine software which gets installed automatically so first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the control panel and we're going to go to system and security now we're going to start off with um, windows updates now because this computer isn't registered i uh... don't get windows updates but the one thing i do is i recommend turning on automatic updates and getting your updates all the time um, you can go to change settings here and i would say uh, leave it at install updates automatically um, and leave both of these checkboxes checked okay that's the number one most important thing for security for Windows people don't get their updates and it will solve a lot of problems so once you have that what do you want to do next well let's just go back to system security here now Windows 7 um, comes with a firewall in my opinion I mean it's an okay firewall but um, I would definitely get something aftermarket uh, you can consider it um, something from another company who makes uh, a better firewall or a security solution suite um, you have the action center here in uh, Windows and it basically gives you different things that you need to do here it says it recommends virus protection. Well, we don't have an antivirus yet, so we'll have to get one of those. Network firewall, we have that Windows uh, firewall that's turned on right now. Windows update, of course, we just turned it on. It has Windows Defender, which is okay, but it's definitely not something that you would uh, want. And um, we'll replace that anyway. And we have uh, user account control UAC. Now you can turn this on, you can turn it off. Um, personally, I say turn it off, mainly because people will just get used to hitting allow, 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 and they won't read these pop-ups like this anymore. And if they don't read it, then what's the point of having it? It's just getting in the way from when a real pop-up needs to be answered from your security solution and uh, we have here network access uh, protection agent service I don't bother with that uh, unless you're on a network if you're just from home don't even bother with it so what do we need to do now well we need to find virus protection firewall and spyware protection now you have a couple of choices here you have free versions and you have paid versions um, if you have the money and you're willing to spend it, get a paid version. I recommend um, Kaspersky Internet Security, uh, Norton Internet Security. Um, those are really about the only two, in my opinion, right now, that are worth spending your money on. There's a couple of other ones out there, like uh, GData out of Germany. Um, that are getting better but at this point in time I probably wouldn't use them um, so let's tackle our security solution by needing by getting an antivirus a firewall and something for spyware I always recommend getting a suite if you can um, if not you can put together products so if you wanted to put together something uh, it depends on how interactive you want to be with your computer being more interactive usually means uh, better security. L being less interactive 
usually means less security. The less hands-off you are, the less secure your computer tends to be. The more hands-on you are, the more secure it tends to be, to a point, if you know what you're doing, of course. If you don't know what you're doing, then more interactive can actually be a bad thing. So let's go along the lines of the least interactive uh, solution. So let's look for an antivirus. Now there's a couple out there that you can get, uh, such things as Avira, Avast, um, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head some of the better ones that I've had. Um, boy, I can't think of any right now. Let me, let me, uh, I just need a list of this will help me because I can give me a list of them so uh, I can't spell okay so we'll get a list here and I'll tell you which ones I, I'm trying to remember I've done so many tests in the last week that I can't remember okay so we have the vast that's gr that's a good one uh, Avira very good Komodo right now um, some people still think it's not good but because I do a lot of malware research and um, find different ant you know new viruses and trojans and things like that they've actually gotten really good um, are they with the top you know such thing as SG data probably not but give them another year I mean this is a very fairly fresh AV it's only about a year and a half old right now so you're doing very very good for uh, as old as they are uh, a squared another good solution just trying to think here for free Kaspersky, like I said, is very good for paid. Uh, Microsoft uh, has their Microsoft uh, Security Essentials, which is not a bad security. Um, AV, it's a pure AV. Um, let me see. Bitdefender is okay for a paid solution. And Semantic is another good one for paid. That's really all there is right now for choices for free and paid that I would personally even consider using. So let's just go with um, Avira. I'm just picking one. We could just as easily go with Avast, but the only reason I like to avoid Avast um, is it's got all those scanners built in, um, and if you have a fast computer, um, it's got a web scanner, an email scanner, an IM scanner, and all that stuff. If you have a fast computer, something with at least a dual core processor, two gigabytes of RAM, a fairly fast hard drive, then it would be fine. But if you have a slower, older computer, all those um, things tend to slow down your computer. Avira doesn't have those. It, it relies uh, on a on access type security where you access the file and it checks it. So let's uh, let's go and down. I'm going to go download Avira free, and then I'll install it and I'll show you how to configure it. Um, when it's done installing. So I'll be back. Okay, so we're running shorter on time here, so I might have to start another video, but I downloaded Vera and I'm installing it. And the first thing it wants me to do is to disable Windows Defender. So it even tells you what to do, and I'm just gonna go do it right now. And I'll disable, you just follow the instructions as it shows you here, and I'll be back when I'm, after it's disabled. Okay, so I disabled Windows Defender here, and we're gonna install Vera. You accept the license, you accept that it's for uh, personal usage. We're gonna do express install. I'm not gonna register for anything and I'm gonna let it install. Okay, so it's gonna install and now it scans for updates. So I'm gonna let it update and I guess it's almost that time for me. Uh, I'm getting actually an alert from my security system right now, so that's okay. Uh, from what I use um, from Komodo. But I'm going to start a new video now, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.